Hey everyone, Pastor Will here. Welcome to Wisdom for Your Wednesdays. I hope you've been having a good week and God has been blessing you. And uh, I want to continue one more week on this idea of unity and uh, kind of give you an idea to the method of the madness. And um, <clears throat> so unity and order are inextricably woven together. Uh, you can't separate the two when it comes to God's Word. Uh, in fact, from Genesis all the way to Revelations, the Bible is a book of order. Uh, for example, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was out form and void and, and darkness was upon the face of the earth. And then we see next that God said, let there be light. And then he said uh, he had to divide the light and the darkness and the morning and the evening were the first day. And so from that point on, all the way through Revelations, God is a God of order. He, um, and that's for our benefit because that helps us when we have order about things, um, uh, that gives us an eye, gives us a feeling of security, and that's what we find in God's Word. We find security there because there's order. We don't you don't see anywhere in the Bible where ten different people are doing ten different things. We call that today, as we kind of see some in our country today, chaos. And uh, there's just no order to it whatsoever. Um, but but in God's Word, we find we can't get away from that when we're talking about unity. See, we can't be a unified church or unified believers or unified in anything, any cause that we have for the Lord Jesus Christ, unless we have some order about it. And uh, some people take this order thing to to the nth degree. And, you, you know, you can overdo anything, but, but, but certainly the Bible... Um, I mean, it, it's very clear about that. And, and the order that the Bible sets forth never changes either. That's one of the good things about God's Word. That it, My Word, it changes not. Um, I was talking to a lady today. We were talking about just some of the um, kind of the relativism that we see in the media and stuff, you know, about the rights and stuff. And somehow they tend to want to appease those writers because of, all the injustices that have been done to them. Folks, let me tell you something. And, and mark my words here. If it's wrong to take from somebody today, it'll be wrong to take from somebody tomorrow. If it doesn't belong to you and you take it, uh, you're a thief. Um, and that's what the that's just what the, the, the Bible is all about. I mean, it's not going to change for you. It didn't change from, uh, from 2,000 years ago. It's not going to change today. Um, and that's one of the reasons that um, when, it, when it gets chaotic in the world, we can look back to that and say, hey, man, there's a God of order. There's a God that's going to tell me what I need to do and tell me when I need to do it and help me understand if what I'm doing is right or wrong. And I want to do the right thing. And I hope you want to do the right thing. And uh, in this world that we live in, uh, we just need to get back to to the order of the Bible will we'll have a sense of unity with God. That'll give us a sense of unity with our brethren, a sense of unity with our church, and we can move on and do something for the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope this will be a blessing to you. And just remember, there is a uh, method to the madness, and the Bible calls that order. God bless you and have a great week.